The message from those on the front line of health care is clear. They are burnt out. I usually tell myself one day at a time because that's all we can do at this point. In B.C., health care providers are facing a pandemic, an opioid crisis and a staffing crisis that long predates both. Now, health care workers in B.C. are being told to get a vaccine. But the B.C. Nurses Union says that may lead to losing even more nurses. Health officials say 80 percent of nurses are vaccinated. That means of the current 48,000 nurses in B.C., 9,600 are unvaccinated. And losing them, the nurses' union says, may crash the system. It would cripple healthcare in BC. But medical ethicists aren't buying it. If one joins a medical profession or a healthcare profession, one has an obligation to take appropriate steps not to harm one's patients. Given the shortage of healthcare professionals, clearly they have an obligation to make sure that they themselves are in a position to be able to exercise their profession. Today, Health Minister Adrian Dix addressed the northern health care worker crisis with a $6.38 million rural health care retention program. We're going to have to prepare for uh, circumstances uh, should people leave certain positions. But the union says structural issues needs to be addressed province-wide. By 2029, we need uh, 24,000 nurses. We've been asking this question for weeks now. Uh, I mean, we've been asking it for decades. What is the plan for this nursing shortage? And um, we haven't gotten it. They're calling on the government to expedite international nurses waiting for their Canadian credentials, increase education and output of new nurses, and invest in recruitment. But with just weeks to go until the mandate begins, the hope is instead of leaving, the nurses get vaccinated.